Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 3. If you guys missed the last episode, all that's really happened is we've just started to creep back into Italy's lands once again. And we've started to create the county, or sorry, the Duchy of Ancona. Now, the goals for today is we're going to try and continue this push. Now we have to wait for the truce to end, unfortunately. Now we did get a good stint where the previous leader died, which allowed us to take two wars pretty close in proximity to each other. So we did gain these two good counties. Now I think that's the end of... Sub no, we've got one more county to capture for Spoleto, which will be the largest duchy in all of our kingdom. Um, I need to try and take away the county of Foggia from the duchy of Spoleto, but I don't know how we're going to do that at the moment, because it belongs to Benevento, which is actually one of my duchy titles. So I do need to try and get my hands on that at some point but it's not overly important. What we're going to try and really focus on doing is creating the Duchy of Ancona and finishing off the Duchy of Spoleto, in which case we can then move into the Duchy of Tuscany, which is already a title, so we could take it. But we'll see what happens. We also have Africa to continue moving into, and we'll probably start off by attacking Gabes. However, I do need to be conscious of the fact that I am nearing the end of my life, especially as I've become infirm and I'm at 62 years old. So, the men are a little bit further down. We are still recovering, but if we get the game started, then we'll see what happens. But ultimately, we'll probably just wait for Numerian to die. Now, he's Numerian the third. We'll be moving on to Numerian the fourth, and then Numerian the fifth. Succession is absolutely fine. Nobody's going to be taking over. Son is 31 and he has one son of his own. Who is one years old. Now we've already put him down the stewardship path, so that's all good. We bring ruler. Belisarius comes of age. Tough soldier and reckless, good. Crassus comes of age. Charismatic negotiator. Very good. All good. And yeah, we've also got some keeps being, or sorry, some castles being upgraded and subsequently some regimental grounds being upgraded as well. Hopefully we can get all of our fortresses to level 2. Give ourselves higher garrisons and stronger walls. But it obviously is quite costly. We've probably spent about 2,500 gold on it already, so I do want to take it a little slow. We are making obviously enough gold per turn, but we just want to be a little bit conscious of it. Um, first thing I should probably do. This game has already started. I just want to check. So, truce with Queen Camilla is for four years until 1027. So, as we can't really do much about that, let's have a look at the kingdom titles. So, I actually do have everything I need in this top half of Africa. So, literally, all I need to do now is start moving down. Kingdom of Africa upgrade. I'm not sure what that's about. Not sure what that's about. Duchy of Tunis will become part of the Regnum of Sicily in approximately 93 years. Now, why is that happening, I wonder? We're integrating... We're integrating part of that land into our kingdom title, so maybe that is something I want to do. That's quite a large... a large duchy. I don't know, if I create the kingdom, will that stop? Anyway, it's 93 years away as well, which is quite a significant period. Um, and either way, we do need to continue pushing on. What's the kingdom to the left that hurt? Maghreb. And yeah, all this region we could take. And it all belongs to the Maghreb, the empire, which is also enormous. Um, there is the other thing I was going to talk about, is the threat of the Byzantine Empire. They are expanding quickly and quite massively. They've taken the entire Illyrian coast and they're now starting to move inland towards Transylvania which if they take any more of this could be really bad for us. They already have enough men as it is. They're getting very strong. So I need to hurry up and I need to conquer Italy and by doing that I really need to conquer the papacy but as we know that's not going to be the easiest of challenges. And I definitely am not ready to do it at my age. Thought we had a better marshal than that. Perhaps not. I thought Valentinian was my marshal. I don't remember changing him either. 
Or he's my master of horse. Anyway, what we're going to do, I guess, is we're going to start a war against Gabes. I don't think they have any alliances. They do not. They have 1,600 men. So it should be a very quick and easy war to win. And I think we've just lost two alliances, leaving us with only two left. But we have got an alliance with Prussia. And that should be enough. Somebody's planning to kill my cousin Leo. That's fine. Won't worry about that. I have enough sons, cousins, brothers. Don't need any more. Um, right, let's get our men ready. And they're already being attacked by somebody else. Which... Could be a problem if I want to take that county. So I'll have to aim to take the capital county down here. I won't be able to take that one for sure. Good fight for the duchy, but I can't afford it. So we'll do the county of Gabes. Push them towards the coast. They have a holy order, which is 6,000 men. That's going to give them a bit of an edge, but it's not going to be enough to save them. But it will push them away. So I uh, probably could have attacked them, actually. It's a little bit frustrating. Oh well. Uh, do we engage them or do we go straight for the city? Or the Baron here? Yeah, we'll just go straight for the fort. It makes sense. Where are we engaging enemy forces? Nowhere at the moment. Training fields constructed in Capua. Good. There's more levies for us. We're nearly at 10,000. We are going to engage some enemy forces down here. We have more soldiers, but nothing else is giving us an advantage there. We should be smashing them to bits. Yeah. Crassus Dukid was wounded. He's Dukidian. Oh, there we go. We won the war because we captured their leader. So, I love it when they're that easy. There we go. County of Gabes under our control. Disband all forces. And let's give Gabes straight over to a random notable of Roman culture. Let's get started on another duchy. And uh, Anias. There is a disadvantage, obviously, to having too many vassals, but there is also the advantage that not all of them will be against you. So you can have some allies in that sense. But there is obviously a threat that they could all band together and massively outnumber me, especially as all of them would have their own men at arms, which would really screw me over. I keep forgetting that I took the Valeriac Isles. They're all like they're all kind of weak, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's the first main step of Gabe's taken. We'll see what happens next. Hopefully, we'll have a few good victories today, and um, but we'll definitely try and push against Italy once again when we get the chance. Stewardship perk, right? So let's just recruit some of these prisoners. I like these guys. They're always good fighters. Except obviously the leader is the one you can't recruit, but they're normally very good knights. Count Frederigo. Can't do anything with him, but I can ransom him for 50, so let's do that. Label perks, popular figurehead. Good. Obviously, I'm losing 20% of my levies anyway due to um, being over the domain limit. And I'm too old to really fix that, and it doesn't matter so much at this point anyway. Um, I hereby invite you to a feast at Tunis. It will be my pleasure. A warm welcome. I look forward to this. Emirate of Gabes. Now I need the uh, Amadid Emirate as well, so I could actually move against both of these kingdoms. And like I said before, the closer I get to Egypt, the closer I get to Alexandria, which is also an area we need to take. And I do need to keep competing against the Byzantine Empire. They're grubbing a hell of a lot. They have 128 counties compared to my 40, but we do have half their number in men. So we're not awful. Denmark. I wonder if that's become Christian yet. Uh, it has. Sorry, Catholic. Does it start? It must have started, does that? Scotland's starting to take over a bit of Ireland, but England's also moving into Ireland as well. They're doing well. France, Burgundy, and Aquitania. Have this little triangle of triangle of war. Spain's being taken over almost completely by Al Andalus. Bavaria, it's about the same. Bulgaria's managed to hang on for quite some time. I thought they would have been taken down. Transoxiana, Transoxiana. I have no idea. Can't be many counties in there, can there? It's all desert. 
52. They have less men than we do. It's all pretty interesting. I mean, there's a lot to be done. There's a lot to be done. We need to start really taking these little um these little roots down here and you start blocking them off if we can. Um, I assume their war has ended. Can't declare war on these guys. Oh, that's his. He might actually expand his territory a little bit. He's got two and a half thousand men. It's a scandal. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now and everyone thought that her husband Gordian was the father. Now it's become clear that it's King Volodar of Moldavia, her sister-in-law. I mean, does that affect me? Maybe in the slightest sense, but not really. Um, regimental barracks. Answer the Nabil. Somebody's plotting to kill me. At this point, does it matter? Oh, it's my marshal. Damn it. Oh, there you go, Valentinian. Now is your time to shine. Our marshal has gradually been dropping in skill. Completed inspiration. Galli Galliness has completed inspiration during his lifetime. He forged something for you. Ah. Thank you. Yeah, we need some better marshals. He's our best currently, and he's only 20, which isn't the best in the world. But it's still pretty good. Um, control in Africa seems to be quite poor. But hopefully that will come back on its own. Neighbors war resolved. 1025. We need 1027 to attack Italy. Surprised he's still alive. They have no allies, so we want to keep it that way. They're being raided, or they're possibly raiding each other. What I do need to do is pass limited crown authority. And I can get slightly more vassals. I can then also retract or revoke titles and retract vassals. Now, that doesn't bother me too much. And it doesn't actually change direct vassal opinion, but the thing is I have... Ow, oh, autonomous vassals gives me 10 plus opinion for everybody. That's probably why I haven't had any major civil wars to do as they wish. I need to stop that. The problem is they're free to do as they wish. That is the issue. Will prerogative innovation. That gives me 10% uh, vassals contribution. I've currently just gained 2%, which um, hopefully will add up a little bit. I'm thinking this one, I'm pretty sure. This one stops. Ah, there we go. Oh, I'm joking. I'm out on a boat. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Sorry. I'm out on a boat in a harbour in Salerno when suddenly a flaming arrow soars across the sky towards us. It hits the boat with a heavy thunk, and it only takes a moment before the whole boat is aflame, and I throw myself in the cold ocean water. As my heavy clothes drags me below the surface, I try to swim. I try to reach for something to hold onto. I try to breathe. You were killed by Mansur Mohammed. Okay. Mansur Mohammed. He's Hellenic, guest of Dux Pontanius, located in Tunis, which is where I just had a feast. Dux Pontanius, one of my own men. Murderer. My heirs avenge my death. I have died, which we were expecting anyway, and to be fair, is probably the best thing that could happen is that I've died now, before I went and started a new war, so this is good. Taking on a 33 year old Numerian at the four, which is good. Right, first things first, we're not going to start any wars. Vassal's opinion who hates me the most? Nobody hates me. It's all pretty. It's all pretty neutral. Siponto. Siponto? Oh, a Baron. Baronessa. That's fine. If, as long as it's a Baron, I don't care. Barons can be handled very, very easily. Um. What we really need to do is this guy on our side straight away. My my uh, counselors, my rival. Okay, so let's have a look at my relations. Just the one rival, and I have a few friends. Now I am slightly over my domain limit, so that's going to cost me some men and money soon. So let's try and, try and sort that. If we can. Um, I do only have two children. My wife. Is fond of me. I'm a drunkard. That's not helpful. At all, really. 
So let's do lifestyle, stewardship. Uh, we're already quite down there. I may as well continue down this one, get that. Vassals are less likely to join independence factions. And administrator does what? Diplomacy, stewardship, vassal opinion. So let's try and finish that off, I guess. We'll go domain focus, which possibly gives me... Doesn't, unfortunately. Um, core positions are all full. We need to get the church on our side. I'm down to nine champions. Oof. That's not good. That's really not good. That is very few champions compared to what we've had before. Um, men at arms are all still the same. What am I trying to do here? What am I trying to do? Nothing. Uh, right, let's keep the game going on. I need some regalia. We have a Prowse 1, Prowse 6. Why would I change that? Child of my dynasty. My courtier, Astriel, has given birth to a son. Herculius. That's fine. Uh, succession is as it should be. I guess I will take over his education now. I'm a little bit concerned about the drunkard trait there. Uh, that's what I was doing in here. Managed domain. So that gives me one more. So that should give me a good chunk of men. So essentially back in the same situation as earlier. But we can. Chissa Agrippina has created a Liberty Faction. There's a few. Okay, Liberty Faction. Okay. That's a problem. Can send an ultimatum in eight months. We've got Ducks Spontaneous, Shocker, Ducks Caesar, Ducks Prissus, and do Chissa Agrippina. So that's four duchies, right? Mallorca. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Geron. So we've got him. Tunis. Tunis. Oh, I'm being stupid. Yeah, I was thinking it was Italian. Tunis is down there. Of course it is. Um, so, Africa. Where are you? You're Mallorca. And then, that's bottom. So it's four duchies. So military power, they're only just over me. But they may gain some more people in this time. Did I start the swaying process I did so that will give me another big chunk of men we do have enough money to afford mercenaries always upgrade the forts and towers now essentially this house must be constructed first notable guest has arrived he's an experienced fighter I do need to get some um, champions back I don't have a lot at the moment it's not good It's not a whole lot I can do. I guess we kind of, at this stage, we just want to hold out. We don't want to start any wars. I suppose I should probably be allowed to do that now. I can. Because the air has changed, but I don't want to. Now, they are contributing more men to me, but if they declare war on me, does that change that? I'm not sure. don't want to spend any money on any buildings, because we've got this war coming, and it will come. I can't stop it. I cannot stop that. Has five members. Discontent is going down. No, it's not going up. You can send me an ultimatum. Do I have any allies? I do not. Let's get that solved now. Disable building Bari. That will change. Not endorsed. We will be endorsed. I will save that for the time being. You can declare wars. Titles can be created. Nope. Concubine. Nope. Family members can get married. Let's get these guys married off to Alliance Power. 3,000. Do it. Nothing else matters. I just want a number of men. Even if it causes inbred delicate. That's fine. 3,000 men. Okay, so that gives us 6,000 from Alliances immediately. Trying to do kid. I am in line to inherit titles. Doesn't really matter. If it happens, it happens. Duchy of Sardinia. Okay. Didn't know that, though. I'll just have to give it to somebody else. More loyal. Right, that has actually changed. Oh, no, because somebody's left. Duchy of Tunis? The Duchy of Tunis has changed. I've been immediately called to war. Brilliant. Estonia. Too far away for me to help you, but sure. I'll join your war. Independence faction. Sardinia. So yeah, I will try and improve relations with these people when I can. Vassals can't join factions. He's an ally now, apparently. Did I do that? If so, I didn't mean to. But, I mean, that's good. That's really good news. 
move our flag back to Salerno just in case anything does break out. I don't think it will. I think we're a little bit stronger now that we've removed him. Um, but let's let's speed the game right up. We've lost our counsel there, Spymaster. Fine. Duck Caesar of Calabria. That makes him very happy, so that's good. And Calabria is there, so that might actually kick him out of that faction. It has. They're down to three members. And none of them really hate me, so I think give it a bit of time and they should all leave. Sardinian Orthodoxy. Faction has disbanded. Yep. Disbanded as quickly as it was created. Still down a few men. I need this sway to come through. Because if it does, we'll get the church's men. The temple's men, even. And that's the one we really want. We should also be fairly close to getting menorialism, which we are. Caesar died. That's a shame. Just bloody recruited the guy. Um, I think now is probably a time when we want to recruit somebody in a duchy position. House head. Duck Caesar of Calabria. The new Dutch Caesar. He's a terrible spy master, but let's do it. Unless a threat rises. We'll change. Whoa! More people have joined. Why have you joined? There you go, he's left. We've got 10 months. Short reign has given me minus 17, and being over my domain limit has given me minus 10. I'm not his rightful liege. Right, so that will change. Spolito. You hate me because I'm not your rightful liege. Wants to see on the council war. What bloody skills do you have? He's a good marshal. So there could be something there, maybe. Even in the midst of war, Duck Septimius and his supporters in the Liberty faction are willing to use any excuse to push their agenda. With my troops and gold bleeding away on the battlefield, I need to take a hard look at what options I have available to mitigate this threat. I must convince the realm to stand united. Diplomacy challenge. I tell you some will convince him to demure. They lose 50 discontent. Uh, act of tyranny. What's this? I imprison him. I cannot worry about this now. 18 stress. I can just pay them. That gives me 20 stress and I lose 150 prestige, which I'd rather not do. I'd rather lose the money. Let's do that. So they've lost... A load of discontent, which is good for me. Essentially, that just buys me a bit more time. So we'll see what happens. Also, they are... It is all rising. Semi-permanent housing, good. I think that's more levies for me. Keep constructed, good. That's more defence, more levies. Obviously, the better defended my areas are, the harder it will be for them to win this war. Not sure what's going on there. Have got the game moving quite fast at the moment. Reduced by twenty percent, right? Of course, of course it is. Three thousand one hundred. Let's get these buildings and towers upgraded in Salerno. It's our capital, and it does mean that if we can defend that well, then I won't have to remove my leader and put him on the battlefield should I ever need to. Send that proposal. Good. Do I try and focus on having another child? Just in case anything goes wrong with my first. Maybe not. Oh, we're both drunkards. <laughs> nice. Let's demand conversion. I want to reduce the chances of her being able to convert any of our children. Because that could be a problem. When is this sway coming through? Emirian learned vulgar Finnic language through observation. I mean, that's not bad. There we go. So the temple now is endorsing us its troops and money which will hopefully go up over time 500 and that will just gradually keep on improving it should do the church should be providing us with a lot there's a lot of temples there's a lot of land we should be getting a lot scheme at court scheming against my champion leo it's great to be known to all throw her in jail it causes a lot of issues she is only a baronessa though let the traitor be known. Whether true or not, ooh. let the traitor be known to all. I won't imprison her. That could create more issues. Master of the Horse, Valentinian has died. That's a shame. So, he's a baron. Duck Septimius is 16. 
So it's only two less. We're going to put him in that position for now. Because that will keep him happy and out of any factions. It should do, anyway. The Duchy of Spilito is the most powerful duchy in our kingdom. So he's the man we want to keep happy if we can. And he's apparently just gained 30 plus. So he's on 84. So there's no chance he should be in that faction anymore. Which he's not. Which keeps them far below us. Which is good. It's good news. Um, last one we'll do. We're about to lose a war there. But it's got nothing to do with me really. I haven't been involved. I have no prisoners. I was going to change this. Master of the Horse and the Hunt. That is a freed... I'm known for my dedication to my faith. Good, but that's not the one we want. We want our prestige going up to distinguished need the knights. So the line. So this, people are less likely to join an independence faction. And what actually is that faction? Liberty. Yeah, it's an independence faction. So now they shouldn't gain anyone, really. We've lost that war, but that's... Again, got nothing really to do with us. Italy is currently in a war, so now's probably a good time to attack. Um... He is very happy with us. So now we're going to start swaying the rest of our duchies. Try and get everyone to like us as much as we can. Yeah, we do. We have an alliance with them. I must have married my daughter into their faction. Right, so he's now created that duchy title. That's good. Um, of course I've died, so I can actually take over the other part of Gabe's, which I may as well do first. It will be a much quicker and easier war. Um, let's do it. Quickly pause up. And then let's move our rally flag down there. Get our guys covered in a little bit of blood. And then that's another duchy ready to be formed. And we're just going to move straight into the Baron there. Take his army out, no problem. Nobody should be dying here. Son of a bitch. Really? Also, why was he on the battlefield? Oh, he died of old age. Never mind. That was just coincidental timing. Um, right, he's not too fond of me. I'll tell you what, I'm going to gift him an artifact that I don't use. Let's do this. And that gets him positive. There we go. Enemy combatants captured. Let's take over the castle. And this will be, hopefully, another very quick and easy war for us. There's even less people in the Liberty Faction now. My wife is pregnant. Hopefully not with a son, but if it is a son, it's not the end of the world. Renown is also going up, which is good. Marrying into this dynasty, dynasty gives 300 prestige. Rules get a maximum of 25 long reign opinion. Uh -huh. Ah, so that goes up. I wonder if you can just eliminate short reign opinion. Yeah, controls facts. Are hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray my vassal duck spontaneous in a good light have presented themselves. My lord, pray tell, who is the most noble person you have heard of? Duck spontaneous, without a doubt. Well, me, of course. Um, well, it doesn't lose me anything, so I'll say me. Get the prestige. We're swaying him anyway. I don't, I don't need it to be overly fast. I don't have that many people to sway. They're going to attack us, foolishly. There we go, and the war is over. I think we captured their leader, so... Is that region captured? We'll disband all forces. We'll move our flag back into the north of Italy and prepare the assault. And then we'll give stacks to this man here. So we'll go grant titles, Sfax. And if I am right, that is a duchy. So we will have four duchies in Africa. We do need to see them converting to Roman and Hellenic, but that's going to take some time. As long as the leaders are all Roman and Hellenic, that's the main thing. Which they do seem to be. What was his problem? Ill. No, fair enough. Can I do anything about that? Can I send him... Uh, I don't think I can. Aren't independence. That's spontaneous suede. There we go. So spontaneous is now looking at us in a more positive light. He's free to create that duchy. We're not going to move into Africa anymore at the moment. My daughter Petrona, of course she'll be there. Beneath my balcony, having retreated to my chambers for the evening, I'm surprised to hear a muffled voice reaching me from the outside, sounding suspiciously like Ostina. I guessed. 
Rex Numerian, I beseech you, let me see your fair visage. Uh, romance. So, I, so that I'm subjected to your hideous one. No. Um, gets me prestige, so I guess that's the one I want to pick. Don't really know. I love the famous less than illustrious. I have had a son. So. You accept the invitation and you lose stress because you are a drunkard. So I've been invited to a feast. Should hopefully see me get some more prestige. Betrothed can marry. He will not accept. Oh, hey. Okay. Well, that's not ideal, is it? Subject that fascinates me as well. So can create a friendship with Duck Septimius. Now, we want really to have friendships with all of our ducks if we can we've also moved up so we've now got more knights which means i'm distinguished good up to 12 now we need a lot more than that but that's a good start um all of these guys are pretty powerful now i mean they're sort of their own kingdoms they should rival most of their opponents outside destroyed to see my friend septimius once again we eat drink and sing together reinvigorating friendship good that's what we want. We want as many friends as we can get. Remote culture. Good. Crusader kings. The very heartlands of Western Christianity are under siege by infidels. Desperate Christian lords have persuaded his holiness, Pope Hadrianus, to declare his intention of forging a righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of St. George. This could be the beginning of unprecedented Christian aggression. This is now massively not good for us. This could be the end of the entire playthrough because if they launch a crusade and all of these empires and kingdoms band together to attack me, I am well and truly buggered. Now, I have won it before against like being outnumbered by about eight times. I just picked them off slowly and managed to win, but I don't know if I could do that again. Um, Gost Dantin. Let's get... Oh, he's not going to convert. That's fine. Not that strict about it. If you want to keep your old religion, you can just don't spread it. But it is welcome. Victory, victory. Right. Okay. So that's all done. Now we want to move again. So I want to try and take some more of Ancona if I can. But unfortunately, I'm not high enough to take a duchy, which kind of sucks. Because ideally, I'd want to just finish off the duchy of Ancona. Can I fight for the whole? Oh, I can. I can take the whole duchy of Tuscany. So hopefully, if I can stay alive long enough, I can do that. Duchy of Romagna. She has actually created all of the duchies already, which does make it a lot easier. Lombardi's massive. Okay, that's good. Let's do. Let's just take it county by county then. So county of Ancona, county of Urbano, county of Ancona. Let's get our forces ready. I didn't actually check if she had any allies. I don't think she does. She doesn't. So this should be quite easy. There we go. How am I? Councillors, everyone likes me, my stewards getting there. I still have short reign and he's my rival, so I don't, I don't think there's really much I can do about that. I could try and murder him, but what good would that bring me? I right, should have been paying more attention, but that's fine. We'll just kick their asses here. They're not going to stop us. Orthodox Holy Order founded. I think that makes two. Um, who's this? Good. The more people learn our language, the better. Let's kick these guys out of our counties. Crusade for Romania. Okay. What's this? Catholic rulers invigorated by... A I knew this was going to happen. They're launching a crusade against us. Call to arms of Pope Hadrianus. Have started to gather a large host of zealots to wage a crusade against all enemies of the cross in Romania. More and more fanatics are drawn in every day. What will soon be a mighty army of the cross assembled to bring war upon our land. We can only pray that the Ares will grant Dr. Septimius the courage and fortitude to stand against this tide of infidels. Why Dr. Septimius? That affects me. Look at my land, right? Oh, yeah, no, he means to take all of my land. He means to take all of it. Bollocks. Defender is me because it's my bloody land attackers it's going to grow and grow and there's going to be hundreds and thousands of them 
However, what did go positively for me last time is that the Northerners and all of the sort of Norse religions did band with me. Whether or not that will happen again, I don't know. But if we can create as many alliances as we possibly can, that would be a good start. Kazari, that would be good. That's three and a half thousand men. If I could marry into the Byzantines, I bloody would, I tell you. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. That spontaneous is swayed. Good. Let's end this war with Italy as quick as we can. So the Kingdom of Romagna. Uh, they actually only want to take this. It would hurt us. It would hurt us bad. It would hurt us really badly. But we could withstand that. That's a harsh blow, but we could win. Not win, sorry. We can we can take it. Um, I don't want to know. How sweet, but no. No one would attempt to just seduce me for 10 years. How sweet, but no. No, we don't need any bastards. Sorry. Converting faith. Oh, yeah, that was right. We converted somewhere else to Rome, didn't we? But you forgot. So now we want to do... Yeah, they're taking over, but it is Roman, so I don't know. Interesting to see what happens. Ortoli probably wants to be converted. That might be why that's going so slowly. Get that under our control. This should, hopefully, end the war here. Nope, give us 4%. Just because there's two baronies there. Alright, well, let's take both of them, and then we've got the war target. Hopefully that ends that war. How long have we got? Oh, my God. They're up to... Oh, it just jumped up even bloody more. 38,000. We have the Pope, Grand Master Slayov of the Knights Templar. Slavoj, Chieftain of the... Oh, my God. Of Gwent. I, I don't know if we can do this. Obviously, we have got a few guys that are joining us, which I am surprised at. Prince Bishop, Tecklenburg, Frisia. It's all the smaller kingdoms. King Bernard of Bavaria, 6,000 men. It's all going to be fairly small armies, and we've got... Oh, these are just my allies. These are just my duchies. No kingdoms have actually <laughs> joined me yet. It's a war, right? So I can call my own allies to this. It is a defensive war. So what I need to do is just create more alliances. And to do that, I need more children. So if I was to die suddenly, what would happen to my kingdom? I would lose the Regnum of Sardinia. That's it. And he'd gain the county of Cagliari, which would affect us. But we could take that back. All right, let's continue on because we need to end this war first. Because we don't want this happening. I've also I have got the option of creating mercenaries. I may have to create a holy order, which I can't do because I can't afford it. Son of a bitch. All right, this can be interesting. But let's end this. Let's end this war. Let's get this done. Right, that is that captured. That puts us to sixty-four. Let's go take this army down. Lessons in Lucra. Emurian keeps the trait just. Quite happy with that. Greedy or callous? Nope, just it is. Oh, this is part of Romania, isn't it? And I'm just about to capture it. I bloody am. It's annoying. Right, 66%. Um, right, what we want to do now, I suppose, is split our forces up. So that we're at our maximum supply limit. Because the chances are these guys are going to be up and about the whole time. That gives us more levies and more tax. That's good. Administration welcomed. Popular opinion. Faction targeting me is disbanded. There's only the Liberty faction. And the war begins. Crusade for anointed. That's just him, right? Let's drop that down to a one, shall we? The hordes of infidels rallied by Pope Hadrianus has begun marching on at Romania. Those savage warriors, clearly inspired by Bacchus, will ravage our lands and slaughter our people without mercy if we do not stop them. The good of all Hellenic faithful in Romania, we must prevail. Has happened. Right. 
That is a lot of good dudes. However, they're not all. They're sort of like counts and duchies. There is a kingdom of Palabia. And there is obviously the Barbarians. Oh, this is not good. County of Lancaster. All the way from England. So some of these guys are going to take a while to get here. It just sucks that I'm currently in a bloody war. Um, yeah, so nobody joined me other than my own sort of dudes, which gives us 15,000 men against 60,000. Hellenism versus Catholicism. I don't know if we can beat this. War chest is 16,500 prestige. Right, I guess. Can I call allies? I can. I can call two more men. Not to that one. To Romania. Romania's Kingdom of Romania. Right, what I need to do... I can designate a guardian. That doesn't really matter. Diplomacy, I suppose. Can I in this? Is there... Is there, is there, is there anybody... Before we start this, can I marry off any more people? Sorry to interact with siblings. Arranged marriage. Forced divorce. Forced divorce. Forced divorce. I need alliances. Find spouse. Alliance power. Central alliance, such as Spolito. 2,600 men. But he's already in that war, so that's not what I want to do. Can you not marry anyone? That's not part of my own kingdom. Doesn't seem to be. Chance of there being inbred, but it's a foreign power that's not already in this war, so let's do it. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Alliance power. Spolito, we don't want Spolito, we want foreign. I don't know if that's foreign, it has to be, right? It doesn't. I hope that's not the one it just did. Fine spouse. Alliance power. Tunis. The are all mine. These are all mine. Duchy of Riazan. That is foreign. 2000. Let's do it. One more sibling. I can find a spouse. Alliance power. Hurrah. Gives us nearly 2000. So that's a few more thousand men that we can call to us. I don't know if they'd get here in time, but there's a chance. Gives us a chance. Obviously, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I haven't married my daughter off. You tell me the strongest person I can give her to is my own bloody duchy. It's not helpful. Who's right? Right. Yes, you. God damn it. This is not good. My own son can also marry. Alliance power. Unfortunately, my. My guys are the most powerful. Right, we can always end this marriage later. So let's do it. It's only a betrothal. But what's going to happen is it's going to give us a hell of a lot of alliances. Enemy ally joins war. So now they're all going to join the bloody thing. We may receive part of the... Uh, yeah, okay. But we need to win it. So what we've got to do first is take down the bloody Pope's army. We've got a few allies joining us already. We just have to, the only way we can do this is picking them off one by a freaking one. We've also got the money to hire mercenaries if we need them. Now we're going to call our allies as soon as they pop up. That's the crusade, so, okay. If I surrender, what happens? We surrender. Hellenism's fervor increases. Couldn't have thought. So the United Kingdom of Romania is what they are after, which is, as it's showing, that section is all they want to take. The whole of Bavaria is in this war. Ugh. Just down here alone, with the Knights Templar, they already have enough men to be a threat to us. However, we are getting allies. There's four more here. I'm going to call all of them in. Best part is it's not costing me anything. Titles can be created, doesn't matter. Ally joins war. We've got it on bloody slow at the moment. I will hire the mercenaries. Yeah, they have a lot of men down here already. And if 
fighting currently for this bloody war. Right, the Duchess Lisa hasn't joined me in this war yet. Concubine. Why can I not? I'm joking. I can't form alliances with these people. And they're not going to help me in this war, even though it's a war for our kingdom. You traitors. You traitorous bastards. Join the forces together. Spontaneous is swayed. It doesn't matter if he's not going to help me. I don't suppose capturing anyone is going to do me any good here. Or men at arms counter. That's not what I want to see. If I do that, they're going to outmatch me. But what I can do, I'm not too keen on it, is can call in mercenaries. What we have to do is take these guys down first. We've got to these small victories is what we need. We should still win this battle. They're running away. They're going the long way around. Oh my god. Okay. The results have changed. I may have to spend a small fortune to win this battle. But unfortunately, I don't think I can... I can't turn around now. It is already too late. What I can do is I can hire some men. Roman Band of Apulia for a thousand. Hire. Serbian band of Sumadija hire. Depending. Let's see what happens if I have to hire more or hire more. That's 5,000 men. And our army in there. We're hitting them first. They have no men at arms, no counters. No, they do. There they are. Beating them. Now it's evenly matched. And we've got 3,000 more men. We're going to win this battle. Let's take some prisoners, show them no mercy. I still have a thousand gold. Good. This is when I want children. <laughs> as ridiculous as it, it is, this is when we want the children to come in. Our allies are now joining us. This is how we do this. this we are going to win this war. We're going to pick them off one by one. Just here alone, we're taking down three armies. 16,000 men is what we've got. We have a chance. We're 35% up already. All I have to do is push them back long enough. This is going to cost me a fortune, but I'm happy with that, so long as I win. We're at 34,000 defenders, and they're at 48,000. We're already slightly chipping away at them. And if we can capture Rome, Pope's own home, we might have a chance. But anyway, before this episode drags on for too long, guys, I'm really sorry. I know it's just got exciting, but we're going to have to end it there. Um, We've got a lot to do. This could go either way. In the next episode, this could go either way. They could absolutely annihilate us once all of their forces get down here. Or we might just band together and have enough men together down here that we can push them back. I don't know. It will be very interesting to see what happens. Um, but otherwise, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you're new, please do subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Make sure you get down in those comments as well. And um, have a good one. Goodbye.